This is the inside of the starter. I said I'd show you this. Fairly st straightforward. Screws off the bottom. That's all in line. Can. We know which points on this to oil. We've already gone through all this. So, guide blade, matter, matter. It's the guide blade where it gets interesting. Front bit. Now, on at most, oops, I can be cam over. This is not screwed in. This is on. Well, hopefully you can just see that there. It's a peg. Uh, I need something to push this through with. There we go. Pops out. Hasn't broken. See? But the other thing about the guide blades, they have these pegs on the top to stop it overturning. And the idea of this is to stop this point of the blade breaking, according to Hornby. Extra supports on the sides to make it going, stop it going sideways. And then re support it internally as well. They're all like this. It is quite hard to get the guide blade out. The problem is the guide blade. Sometimes it will shatter across the middle here, knocking the back off. They are working on this. Um, there are some nylon guide blades that, instead of plastic, well, instead of polyethylene, ethylene, plastic, nylon plastic instead of plastic plastic, that are making it stronger. We were testing them here. We were running the cars uh, for about three months every day and just improved no end. Kept them on. The original guide blades that came, um, yeah, you'd go through five in a day, quite literally. They'd go into a corner too hard and shatter. They have fixed this problem as far as I'm aware, um, and they are in circulation now, but I could be wrong. Oh, anyway, that's the start car. Very basic, nothing to it. And the body, as we know. Excuse the tape, is fairly generic.